Hey pals, when it is time to plant seedlings in the greenhouse, make sure to place it in a hole beneath your seedlings. And it does not matter what type of seedlings you are going to plant, pepper seedlings, eggplant seedlings or tomato seedlings. Well first of all, it's the depth of the hole that needs to be dug to plant seedlings. The diameter as well as the depth is twice as large as the diameter of the cup. And this here is what we need so that we can put one fish like this at the bottom of the hole. In my case it's fresh ice cream of salak. You can also add a few more if you'd like, you just need to put two of them. Additionally, you can also put a penny in if desired. They will also need two pieces. However, the most inexpensive and superior choice is salaka. We defrost it and place one fish in the opening. Then we add a little bit of soil. Now a couple of practical tips. Before planting seedlings, at least water them for a day so that the soil in the cup is not wet or dry but slightly moist. So it will be easy to pull out the seedling along with the clump of soil from the cup. And if the soil in the cup is dry, it will crumble. If it is actually humid, you simply will not be able to achieve it. As you can see, a prosperous root system. This is because I added crushed oatmeal to the seedling cup. If you haven't watched this video, you should check it out. It's on my channel and I'll leave a link to it in the description. And as you can see, I planted the tomato seedling in the soil. First of all, a true leaf. This is needed so that additional roots can grow on the stem, which is located in the ground. Now you have to water the seedlings really well so that they can adapt more quickly to their new location and develop some fresh roots. Secondly, it's the stuff in fish like minerals and most of them are in fish bones. Calcium salts, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, magnesium, sulfur, chlorine and the key mineral is phosphorus. He promotes the growth of a large and strong root system and the larger the root system, the greater the above ground mass and the stronger the plant. This here is some all natural long lasting fertilizer. And here's another tip for you, use fish as fertilizer only in enclosed soil. I mean a greenhouse or a hothouse that is not accessible to dogs and cats because they can smell it and will want to dig up this fish. And because of these actions, your seedlings will suffer. So, in no way do we put fish under the seedlings, you know. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any cool new and helpful videos. I wish you a successful day and we'll see you in the next video.